Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. I uh, haven't done an actual shave shave video in a while, but enjoying my uh, kind of my quiet shaves, listening to music, listening to uh, sermons, other things like that. <clears throat> and just enjoying also taking shave of the day pictures and kind of showing some of the gear. Like a lot of people don't watch videos. So when I show a brush, you know, you guys who watch appreciate it. But then, you know, other community members don't get to see the work of say a Nathan Clark, a Brad Sears, a Panerai, um, Mervyn Cadman, things like that. So to me, it's kind of been kind of fun doing, uh, switching it up and then also doing the short little um, product spotlight or whatever you want to call them, uh, little videos. But today I got something different. Um, my good friend uh, Khan Kazanzidis over at uh, his new company, thestraywhisker.com.au, surprised me um, with a package yesterday. And in that package was, and I'll be using this soap today, pour up the bloom water right now, the Shaver Heaven Arctic Mango. There you can see the label and what's in, or the scent description. He also sent along the straywhisker.com aftershave balm sample. And it's a little thicker balm, um, but here is the ingredient list. You can pause it if you want. Looks like some pretty killer ingredients on there from uh, what I know of them. The rest of my shave will be my Nathan Clark horsehair brush, my uh, retro looking brush. I've got it soaking in the Crown King Scuttle, which I'll be using as my brush warmer. And then, yesterday I used it for the first time from Blackland Razors. It's the Blackbeard Ra or yeah, it's the Blackbird Razor, and it's all stainless steel, two different handle sizes. You can kind of see, and it's loaded with our Pure Platinum Lux. So I'll be doing a full review of this at some point in time. It's only my second shave with it. I had a great shave yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up. And this, like I said, this is a horsehair brush. Um, oh, and then I'm using Aqua Velva uh, Musk as my aftershave. But uh, it was kind of funny because Con and I were talking yesterday. I messaged him and just uh, started asking him about the company, you know, just saying I'm looking forward to ordering stuff from him because um, I feel it's important to support our friends. And just kind of uh, trying to get an idea of what's uh, coming out ahead, things like that. And really good conversation. Won't get into too much of that, not pretty much any of it. But uh, so then here I get home at 11.30 last night and what timing, there's a box from Con. And obviously he sent that shirt as well uh, with a nice little note in there. And I just want to say I appreciate his friendship as well. It's been uh, such a great guy. Uh, but yeah, so I've, like I said, I've been enjoying just overall in general my, uh, my personal time a little bit. Uh, doing daily videos and stuff like that. It got to the point where in a lot of ways it kind of felt like a grind sometimes. Uh, as much as I enjoyed doing them. But it's also nice just kind of uh, spending some quality time by yourself. And so I'm just kind of mixing it up. Um, just kind of decided that uh, I will do what I feel like that day. And today, when I post, or yesterday when I posted that picture late last night, um, today I got asked if I was going to do a do a video with this stuff. And since I hadn't done a video in a while, I was like, yeah, why not? You know, it's uh, you know, new stuff, a couple new things to use in there. The razor I used yesterday, um, plus also just like to me, it's just a really great story, and you know, about the community. I really want to, even though, yeah, shipping is going to be shipping from Australia, I really want to support uh, Khan as he uh, basically, to my understanding, brings the first, uh, like, wholesaler, I guess you could call, of wet shaving goods into the into Australia. And, uh, or at least he's expanding on one of the two. But it makes me think of something, too those who are still watching, uh, are there any Japanese um, or Asian soap companies, artisans specifically, but uh, or primarily, but even corporate? Shaver having killer suds. But uh, 
The reason I ask that is I may really like my Japanese straight razors. And I'd love to get either Japanese soap, brush, maybe an aftershave. Something like that at some point in time. Just to kind of do like an all Japanese kind of shave or you know, something to that effect. You know, I can I can do a European shave or a UK shave right now. I could do all American. I think it'd be fun to branch out. I'll ask that in the groups as well, probably, or at least one or two of them. So, a uh, question to you guys also is, 2016 is already going on, obviously. Month's almost over. In no time. Is there a product you got for Christmas or around the holiday time that you've been using that you're really digging? Is there something uh, something new in your den that you just started using that you're really loving? So just put it down below. Obviously, these, the soap is fantastic. Shaver Heaven does a really nice job. Um, I'm loving this chill of the menthol. So now we my fourth Shaver Heaven soap. We've got vanilla bean, green tobacco, and then, what is it, Summer Breeze. And I like them all. Looking forward to getting back to straights again. I've used them a few times, but I've got uh, this razor. It's a prototype. The first batch has already been released, but this was uh, sent to Scott Ostermiller. He connected with the company on Instagram. And I saw their back and forth. Emailed the owner. At the time, this was his first batch, or his first only razor out. I was seeing if I can get another one of his prototypes to just test out because it looks really cool. And the name really got me because I'm a big fan of the SR71. And so he said, well, that's the only one I have, but once Scott's done with it, I'll have him ship it to you. And so I get a little time with this. He said, no hurry, but I want to get it back. So I plan on using it a uh, good amount here in the next week or two. And... Maybe this weekend I'll probably try to get the uh, the video out. That'll give me a good week's worth of shaves. Just assuming I go with it every day. So I'm definitely uh, thankful I got uh, got this on loan. I think it was right, right before Christmas, the first batch issue uh, came out. So there's a few out there now. It also comes in black. I probably would have ordered the black myself. Just because 
The SR-71 is black. Another nice shave, darty tail. I like the audio audible feedback with this razor. Let's see where I'm at. Get under my chin a little bit. One more pass on my neck. Didn't do a good job today on it. Yesterday I got my neck fantastic. It was unbelievable. But also I had two days growth on my uh, neck and then four on my head. All right, I'll get some cold water running. I'm loving the winter cold. Um, when it comes to my water, tap water is much, much colder after a shave. Really nice. Um, I'm gonna do the bomb off camera because I'm gonna let the aftershave sit in, but you can see, I'll let you kind of see in there, Put a little on my face last night, but it's definitely a little thicker. It stands up on its own than uh, some other bombs. So very, very cool stuff. Aqua Velva Must Time. Once again, yesterday, a little burn this today. Yesterday I had zero alcohol burn. So, huge plus. I may grab something later as I'm walking out the door in about an hour for like an EDT. Stuff lasts pretty good, but I might find something to pair well with it. So that's my loadout, everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do the bomb here in a minute or two as that, after that soaks in. A couple little weepers. Yesterday, I had no weepers at all on my head or my face, even though I had some spots that I'd cut open a few days ago. So stay tuned for this razor review. And uh, if you haven't seen my Crowns King Scuttle review, it's a couple videos down. And once again, here's the ingredients for the Stray Whisker Balm. Like I said, fantastic looking stuff. I'm really looking forward to using that today, you know, actual shave instead of just at night. So God bless everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.